how does air conditioning work? So most of us know that an air conditioner can change the temperature or the humidity in your home and even actually affect the general quality of air in your home. But how does it actually work? What is it actually doing? So an air conditioner makes your home cooler by absorbing heat energy from the house and transferring it outside. And then it replaces the air inside your home with cooler air. So here's an example of how this works. And an air conditioning system essentially has four parts. An evaporator, a compressor, a condenser, and an expansion device. The air conditioner in a central heating and cooling system provides cool air through ductwork in your home. And it does this by providing a process that draws out the warm air that's inside and removing the heat from it. And in a split system, there's a compressor and the compressor condenses and circulates the refrigerant through an outdoor unit which changes it then from a gas into a liquid. And so the part inside the home where the refrigerant evaporates is the evaporator. And then fans in the home blow the air across the evaporator's coils. And as air from the house moves across the evaporator, refrigerant within the coil picks up the temperature of the air. The refrigerant is absorbing heat from the air and turns this from a liquid into a vapor. So the air went from being warmer to cooler. The vaporized refrigerant then passes into the compressor, which is actually located outside um, in the air conditioning unit that's adjacent to your home. Did you know the first modern air conditioning system was developed in 1902 by a young electrical engineer named Willis Haviland Carrier? I may be saying that wrong. It was designed to solve a humidity problem at a lithographing and publishing company that was located in Brooklyn, New York. The paper stock at this plant would sometimes absorb moisture from the warm summer air, and it was making it difficult to apply any kind of ink to the paper at the time. And so this brilliant engineer named Willis Carrier treated the air inside the building by blowing it across chilled pipes, and the air cooled as it passed across those cold pipes. And since cool air can't carry as much moisture as warm air, the process ended up reducing the humidity in the plant, and it stabilized the moisture content of the paper also had the side benefit of lowering the air temperature. And ta-da, a new technology was born. And so Mr. Carrier realized he developed something with a far-reaching potential. And it wasn't long before air conditioning systems started popping up in theaters and stores, making the long, hot summer months much more comfortable. If you have any questions, give us a call and we're happy to answer your questions. We are also serving the Northern Virginia area. So if you live in that area and you wanna give us a call, we can give you a quote or explain some of the differences and benefits for your home. Thank you for watching.